in in today's scenario also when you are uh, uh, watching that we are using platforms like youtube diksha and other state operated platforms where thousands of videos are available for all of us to view and learn from them in yesterday's question also the answered the answers we received were the first one which was mostly answered was youtube so video resources are very important uh, because uh, they are suitable for many type of educational content which has to be delivered in the classroom so today i'll request all of you uh, once again to either uh, switch on your screens or at least interact with me during the session because it becomes a very one way communication when uh, nobody speaks so it will be my request for all of you to interact with me to switch on your cameras and to ask or write down your questions as many of the questions you have we can take it later on because video resources is a kind of resource which you can easily create right so based on that i am saying that please be interactive and very active in this session at least be ready with your queries whichever queries we are able to take in this short time we will be definitely taking all of them now we are starting with the uh, session so first of all uh, first of all uh, can you see my screen yes we can okay thank you so what are video resources and why do we need them a video resource basically is uh, we develop basically a video resource either as a uh, it can be an experimental video or a digital story which has a combination of multiple uh, elements that that is it would have a, a, a narration that is a talk or a voice over or the audio which we call it can also have music it can also have sound sound effects so these are the audio elements then it would have visuals like images graphics it can have infographics it can have directly recorded videos now for example you also record a lot of videos on your mobile phone so you can call these videos and edit them to make a digital resource it may be educational it may not be educational but when you do it for educational purpose covering a certain topic which is relevant to the curriculum of the student then it becomes an educational resource so all these things will come together this become either a multimedia resource you can call it or a video resource you can call it or a digital story because these all are a uh, synonym which we are using right now here now <clears throat> it is a uh, which uh, video resources or this digital storytelling it basically uh, gives us not just one element of you know talking the way audio gives us we are not just talking about telling stories or explaining something but rather we are trying to give a, a bigger support to our content with the visuals the visual media is very enriching all of us know the uh, what is we we hear and we learn but we when we see we learn quite a bit more so educational video resources could be very useful for teaching particular topic now where you can utilize these uh, video resources we can uh, for the topic like which are very concrete we can give uh, explain them through real life examples because all the ideas or things which come in contact with us in person we should take examples from real life but if the concept is abstract which we cannot see say for example we talk about cell in the science in the subject of science and we talk about unicellular cell and did in detail many types of cells also so this although they exist in us but we cannot see them with naked eyes we cannot you know feel them so these are abstract concepts for uh, for a learner 
So to explain these concepts, we can use video resources. Similarly, we took uh, an example of flower uh, in the last uh, session, which was parts of flower. So for teaching parts of flower, even though we can use a, a real life object, but we can also use images or we can also create a video with the images or we can directly create a video of the flower or in detail for going into more detail and making it more interesting, we can create an animation. Animation video in which parts of flowers are explained in detail, proper zoomed in, so that every minute detail can be noticed through that animation. So all these could be the uses. Now, there could be different ways of creating the video. It is not just that video could be of one type. That means now I am coming to the uh, presentation style of the video. As a teacher, first of all, I should be aware of do I need to create an audio or a video or an image for explaining this certain topic. Once he or she has realized that video is a good resource or video would be a better option for explaining certain topic, then the next question arises, which format of video you want to use while creating this content. Now, what are these format? This is, you have discussed it in audio class also. The first one is documentary, which is based on the documentation. It talks about facts and it doesn't have any space for imagination or uh, what we call as non, uh, what we call as fiction. Fiction means it is just a story and it has no relevance with the facts. So that is the documentary. So here we talk about the uh, events or incidents which has happened and we are trying to recreate them as documentary through the use of documentary evidences. It could be pure documents. It could be uh, primary evidences like uh, somebody has seen uh, that event happening. Uh, they could give their interviews or we can also visit the site where the particular action has happened. So, uh, and all the questions, all the documents, all the data which will be disclosed in this kind of resource would be fact-based, would be based on those facts of that incidents which we are covering in the particular video. The next is the drama and the other one is docudrama. We'll take them together. Now, drama, we simply understand that it is, uh, we are portraying through acting and uh, drama, any message or any content we are portraying, communicating through the drama format. Now here, we are talking about creative writing. Here we are trying to present the content in a creative way, in a more interesting way. Documentary was, we are presenting it as it is. It could be just a voiceover or a digital interview, but in drama, we are putting all the expressions and everything so that the, uh, the content looks interesting and captivating also. Here are also facts presented, but they are presented through an anchor. That means they are naked in the drama. It is not completely purely facts, but a drama has been created to, you know, lay out certain facts to the audience. The next, which one was docudrama here, again, the facts are more important than the mode of presentation. So here, the facts are presented through drama. All the facts are presented through drama. Not, it is different from drama because in drama, we are presenting something and we are knitting certain facts into it. But docudrama, where well, facts are primary and the drama takes a secondary seat. That is the major difference between these two types. Then the third is talk we are very familiar with. This is the lecture method we use in the classroom. So as an expert or uh, you, we, we, we call an expert and we create a video. The expert explains that particular topic and the video is the resources created. That is a 
talk and we are generally using it in the higher classes also. The next is interview where we are discussing with experts, we are inviting experts and we are conducting interviews with them. Here we have questions, questions could be framed properly prior, that is uh, the questions are uh, also prepared in consultation with the expert, that is structured interview. And if the questions are slightly, you know, the points are jotted down and the questions are framed, that is semi-structured interview. And if we randomly start asking certain questions, this is unstructured interview. So we have got different types of interview and based on the interviewer, based on the time, based on the content, the interview program can also be recorded. The next important uh, format is feature. Now you must have seen a feature film. Why do we call feature a feature? So it is basically focusing on certain uh, specific or special attribute of a person, thing or place. So here, for example, <clears throat> we have, uh, you know, uh, so many uh, rivers maybe in India, right? So if, what, if I want to create a feature, then I can focus on any one element of the river. It could be uh, from where it starts or where it ends. So we are covering uh, rivers landing into Bay of Bengal or we are covering rivers landing into Arabian Sea. Or we can also say that the rivers which are starting from Gangotri or Yamunotri and things like that. So we can fix according to the need. Just to take it uh, further ahead. Just to take it further ahead, for example, we have got so many monuments in Delhi. Right now, if we start covering monument historical monuments in Delhi, then it would not be a feature. But if I say I want to cover a certain architecture, and in whichever monument that architecture is available, I will cover those monuments. That is the feature of that particular architecture. Right? So here we are focusing on certain specific attributes and making a program towards that. That is called a feature. The next is magazine. Magazine means we all read a magazine. So what we do, what we read in the magazine, we would have a cover story. We would have some uh, related stories. We would also have certain uh, gossips or recipes or uh, jokes or a poem. We will have a mix of all of this. So same thing can also be produced as a video program. So you could have a smaller presentation and then you can have a question answer session and then you can add a demonstration and then you can wind up with a quiz. So this becomes a magazine program. We have different elements of a program here and we are compiling them together to make it a complete program. But these parts, chunks are very small. So if, for example, you're making a 10 minute program, then you can have a two minute story, two minute demonstration, one minute some other activity, a one minute some other activity and then you are finally compiling it as a quiz and submitting the complete program. So that is a magazine program. The next is voice of people here. See for example when we have uh, elections coming, we go, uh, the, the journalists we go to the streets and ask people, whom do you think will win? Or what are your agendas you are looking at for voting to a certain party? So this is when they answer, when the public answers, this is the voice of the people. And if we take any, create any resource of this type, this will become box popular. So all these formats are available to us and we can use them uh, for creating different video programs. We can go beyond these uh, formats also, as I said, in education, we could have a demonstration, we could have a discussion-based program, or we could have more formats we can explore and add as a, you know, to create a video program. Now, how to create a video program? So, first of all, 
you need to do some background work for creating your video program. What is that background work? You have decided that for teaching a particular topic, you need to create a video program. Say, for example, parts of flower. So, uh, then you decide that I want to create a video program and I want to demonstrate. So, for demonstration, you need a flower. Maybe you may, you may need two, three flowers because if you are not able to showcase it in one flower, or you would like to showcase in two different flowers that how things are there. Then you record your own video explaining each part of the flower by removing that part and showing it in video. Okay. In this program itself, you can also add images of parts of flowers. And you can bring those images as slide or uh, as proper image and then showcase all these parts of the flower also. But for that, you have to click good images of the part of the flower. Now we all, we have all this content ready, but we also need what the teacher would speak, what the presenter would speak. So that is called a script. We will write a script where everything, what a teacher is speaking will be written and whatever the visuals will be at that point of time will be written. So that is a script. You must have discussed it in script to screen session. Then uh, we also need the recording of the audio of whatever is written in the script. You have to prepare it well in advance when you are going to record a video, when you are going to edit a video. And then if you want to add some music and sound effects also, you need to locate them or create them. Creation means you may uh, like to record the chirping of birds or gushing of air or you would like some music to be downloaded from the free and royalty free websites or open source websites so that you can place it in the video uh, to make it more you know uh, engaging now first of all you need to create a video through your mobile phone or through your video camera whatever you have or you can also create it through screen recording for example now i am uh, presenting one session and I want to create a video resource out of this session only. So I will take this recording. Now this has all the images, like the presentation as an image. It has my image also and my audio also. Now I want to edit it with proper title and music and other things. I can do that editing also with uh, uh, by adding all these resources. Now, once you have all the elements ready, then we go on to edit the video. So, for editing the video, we are going to focus on one particular software right now. You might be using or you might be aware of different softwares. They are also good to use. But this is a free and open source software, which means it is freely available. You don't have to pay for it. And it is open. Open means you can also, if you find that this uh, program, this uh, video editor can be enhanced with certain features and you have that knowledge of programming, then you can bring changes in the back end of the application also. That is source code of the uh, this video editor is also available. You can make changes to that source code. And that is the beauty of open source. Now, we will now see how to download the OpenShot video editor and then what are the different, how does this uh, OpenShot looks like. So for that, first of all, we will go to Google and type OpenShot video editor and then we will come to this page and download it. I will show you the downloading process also completely. Once you download and install it in your computer, then you can, uh, you open this, this page will appear. This is the landing page of OpenShot Video Editor. So the first time when you open, it will give you instructions also for explaining you each element of this page. So here you can see, uh, this is the project file corner where we are going to keep our files, which are to be edited. This is the preview window. That means this is a monitor of the uh, editor. And these are the tracks where we are actually going to place the video, audio and images so that 
these can be made visible here and this is, these are the editing tools you can see these are very simple editing tools this is not a complex software but it does what we require as a you know for creating an educational program at our level here this plus button allows us to add different files for example when you are going to edit a video resource first of all you need to bring that video or images or all the audio things on the computer then from the computer through this button you can call them here when they are visible here then we start the editing process so this is the open shot video editor interface looks like now we will get into the interface and learn how to edit a video file Actually, sir, you can, I said, you might be using certain different apps or uh, different softwares. You can keep using them. The only thing which I explained you here is that this is an open source software. This is freely available and it is very simple, right? And it doesn't uh, give you any uh, bottle marks for the video also, so that you can keep the video easily. Otherwise, kind master like apps also provide you watermarks, and you, uh, you know, you have to live with them. So that is the feature uh, which is available here. But it is good for this session, for this uh, training. At least you focus on this. Otherwise, you can keep creating videos because the interface most of the time remains the similar only. So now I'm going to show you how to download this OpenShot video editor. So I'm in front of you, I'm just writing OpenShot video editor and I'm making a Google search. So once I write OpenShot video editor, this will come. This is the openshot.org, the website. I'm going to click here. Now you can see if I want to download, you can simply either click here or you can go down. Once I click here, you can see that I have got a downloader here for Windows. If your computer is a Windows 64 bit, then you can download from here. Or if it is a 32 bit, please change it from to, uh, to 32 bit and download that one. And if you have any other operating system based on that, you can download the OpenShot interface. You can now here see the source code. This is the openness of the application. If you click on this, you will find out the source code. And making changes to the source code, you can make changes to the overall OpenShot video editor. That is the beauty here. So once you download, something downloaded will appear in your download box. And then you click and run it. Run means you are going to install it in your computer. Once you install it and keep it on wherever in the computer you want to keep it, then you open it and then the editing will start. So once you install, you will find out something like this. Open short video editor. I have kept it on the desktop. You can see here. So I am now going to double click and open this uh, editor. Okay. So this is the major interface which is now available to you for starting the editing. When you open it for the first time, it will give you the complete tour of the interface so that you can start be friendly with the interface and then you can start the editing. Now I am starting it directly. I will go here. I can import the files from here. First of all, I will show you. I have kept a few files in my downloads. I have downloaded a few videos and images to show you and also a few more music files so that I will take these files into the project. So these are on my computer right now. 
Now I'm going here. I'm I want to import the files. I can import from here, or I can also go on the file button and import files. The same button is in the file menu also, and the shortcut is available here. So now we will import some files. I'm just clicking here uh, on the plus button. Now you can see I am on my computer. Now whatever I want to uh, bring in my this thing uh, with, uh, project, I will add those things. So this is a video I have downloaded. Now you can see a video is available here. If I have downloaded a music, I can just simply call that also. So I've called two files. Now we will start the editing. So for editing, we have to bring this on the track. I have kept some space here and I have kept one track empty here. We will see why I have kept this. Right now it is providing me five tracks. I can add more tracks by using this plus button, add track. You have to simply click here, one more track would be added. Now we'll see what this video is about. this small video here the kid has already you know kept the name plate but what we can do is we can use a we can create a title of this program we can create this uh, a title as as, uh, as well as we can uh, tell the materials to be used in the experiment so this way we will be able to able to edit the file now, for example, I want to cut some part of it and add some images into it. But before that, I need to add some images of bottle and I have downloaded a few images. I'm just trying to see. So, yes. Now you can see in front of you only I am trying to locate my images as well so that we can edit this video nicely.
one of the images here and the second we are locating. So now I have got two images also with me. I want to edit this video. How to start editing first of all? First thing we need in the video is we want to cut some part of it and... Hello all, my name is Jagarwal. I study in class 2D. Today I am going to edit this video. Let's start. I want to remove all the introduction part of him and I want to simply keep a name below him as a subtitle so that he is not introducing himself. Simply the name is enough. So we will mark a point. So here you can see add marker. We are on the editing tools right now. Add marker. I'm just trying to mark so that we are First of all, wherever the cursor is, the marker is there only. Now you can see here. Now this is not enough. I need to go beyond. So here I am cutting right now. Here you can see one tool which is in the shape of a scissor. This is called a razor tool. If right now just see my cursor. When it is moving on the timeline, it is in a plus shape. But if I click on the razor tool, then look at my cursor, it has become as a knife. It is carrying a knife. So I am just bringing this knife here. Do not click with the knife anywhere. Otherwise, it will start marking cuts on your video. So I have brought it here and I have simply given a one click. Now I'll come again and deselect it so that I don't mark any more cuts. One more, uh, you can see here that the cut has been marked. Now I'll see, we'll uh, want to... I study in class 2D from MT International School, September 1, Vasundra. Today, I'm... So now we will... Cut here. Next cut will be here. So I'm selecting the scissor and then again marking a cut here. Deselect. Now you can see it has been deselected. Select the portion which I want to remove. I will simply say delete. So if I delete this right now, I can, I will be deleting the audio also. If you want to keep the audio, then we will have a different step. So right now I'm simply removing it. And I'm joining these two videos together. Now we'll see how it looks. So now one portion is complete. Till now we have we are left with one single hint of as if he's speaking something else. So now if for cutting also we have another option I will show you. In the first part, this the smaller where my cursor is, I can simply first I'll zoom in so that I can see it in a bigger way. So here I can simply drag inside. That means that is also I have cut a few, uh, small part of the... Hello all, my name is Divya And I will now join it with the video. Now let's see. Hello all, my name is Divya Today I am going to perform an interesting experiment to show that air of you by space. So, here I have a bucket full. So now that part, that portion is nicely edited. Now he is telling the materials for the conducting the experiment. So we can also add our images of the material so that it is clearly visible to the viewer. So here we will again edit this similarly. I'm just wherever. Okay. So, so here I have.
I have, I'm marking a cut here again. And then I'm going to pick a bucket full of water and one empty bottle. So till here I'm going to mark a cut again. Right? Now here we want to keep the audio of the child but we want to remove the video. So now the step will be slightly diff different. Now we will just not delete the video. We will first of all see the audio. Where is the audio? Now you can see it is just a compiled file. We don't have an audio file separate. So we'll click on the portion. I'll just click on that portion, right click, and we have the op option separate audio. So I am doing it in single clip because we don't have any other audio right now here. Now you can see the audio clip has appeared here. You can just see. I mean, hear out that whether we have. So now I've got this thing separated. Now I'll remove the video. So I'll just select the portion which I want to remove. I can delete it from the desktop or also I can right click and remove clip. So now you can see the portion where it's saying I have a bucket and a bottle it has been removed from here. So now I want to capture my own video here, image here. So I'm bringing this image here and this image here. Now this is slightly bigger, this won't fix into it. What if I just keep it here, what will happen? Just check. I hope you understood why I was keeping the track. So if I put, whatever I put on the top track will be visible in the video. So I'm right now keeping it free for keeping some important things. So now I'm reducing, this is, I'm not editing the image. I am simply reducing the time for which the image is visible. Mm -hmm. Similarly, I'll do for the bottom. Now I will drag it downside. Now I can either just keep it like this, joining properly. Or I can also place it like this. I can slightly overlap it with the video. It's small, slightly increase the size of the image and then overlap it. Now I have overlapped. You can see one effect has appeared here. Now you see the effect. Full of water and one empty bottle. Oh, is it really? You can also provide these effects manually. That is from here. Sorry, transition. We have got transition. We can select the transition and apply it here. Now I'm going to place this uh, bottle here. We can do the same thing with the bottle. Slightly increase the size and place it here. Now you can see this whole thing happening. Air of you by space. So here I have a bucket full of water and one empty bottle. Oh, is it really? Now you can see the image of uh, bottle is smaller, so it is appearing on the video. So we need to remove this. Uh, So I've removed the transition.
and I'm calling the video here. The transition is on the other side now. So now I have a bucket full of water and one empty bottle. Oh, is it really empty? Right. So this way we have applied the transitions also. If you want to apply the transition on your own, that also you can do. So for this, you may like to apply a transition, call it from here, just place it here and reduce the size of the transition. Now we'll see, this would be a different transition because we have a bottle and one empty bottle. Oh, is it really? has applied nicely on the image and video. So for joining two images or joining one video and an image, we can apply these transitions and to have a you know smoother shift into the next image or next video which is coming. Okay, Teresa uh, ma'am or sir from Mizoram is asking is it compulsory that we have to drag the image down before you drag it down? I think it was still visible. Ma'am, you can keep it upside also, but it will appear on the video which is below it. So on the track 4, if I have a video or image and on track 5, I place an image. The track 5 image will be visible, but it will be placed on top of track 4. So to avoid that, to avoid the heaviness of the file, we can try to place it in the same track. But for the tasks which are to be placed on the video, for example, you want to now I want to give the name of the child on his when he is in the video, then I can place that image over him so that it has an overlay. We will just see that also in our upcoming uh, discussion. So, this basic editing we have learned now. Now, I want to add a title to my uh, video. Right. As a teacher, first of all, we need to give a title to our video. For that, you can do two, three things. You can go into any graphic creating tools like Canva. You can create your title slide and bring it here. Or you can create it in PPT also and bring it here. And the third option is we can create it here only in the title. You can see just near the file menu, we have a title menu. Go to the title and the basic title, here it gives us certain templates where I can add my title and bring it here as an uh, image. So, for example, I want to use this cloud as a title. So, this is a file name. File name, we all know, it can keep any uh, file. Now, what is the title here? And the subtitle, if you want to add any. Right? So here you can also change the text color and the background color. Uh, I'll just show you this. Uh, for example, right now it is blue. You would like to keep it green. Just this much. And it is visible. So I say now save. And you can see here the image with the title has appeared. Now I am going to drag it here on the different track first to show the size, see the size. So here, whatever the size is visible is the duration of the image. Don't keep any image for a very longer time if it doesn't have an audio because it will become boring. But if any explanation is going on, then you can definitely keep it as per the need. So I'm reducing the size because this is just a title slide. I'm placing it here. Now I want to join all this with the title slide. So I'm going to select all together. I have selected the audio also. Otherwise audio will get removed. You can see the audio is also moved here. So just select the whole thing together and now we will see. Hello all, my name is Jeeva Jagarwal. Today, I am going to perform an interesting experiment to show that air occupies space. 
So now our video is ready. I just want one more thing to demonstrate here in this part of the video. Uh, you can add similarly a end slide also where you can give your copyright details also, metadata also. But here I want to show you one or two important things which are uh, like giving the name of the child. For that again, I am going to uh, title slide. Now this uh, the name will appear on the bottom of the child, like somewhere here. So we will choose the, the, the slide which is useful for that. You can try any of these, that is not an issue, but I am going to choose a footer slide. I'm going to just add his name. Divi Jagarwal, I think. Right, this is his name. I can change the color as I uh, already discussed with you. So I'm going to keep it red. And save. Okay, and Save. So this is just the name which is appearing and I want to see where I want to place this. Hello all. I want to place it here. Now you will see the use of the top layer which I was telling you. You can uh, plan the time for how much time it takes. Now you will see. Hello all, my name is Dimitri Today I am going to perform for a very short time. So I am going to increase it. Just see. So I was uh, explaining you that, for example, we've just added the title slide. Similarly, you would like, as a state uh, person, we are creating resources on the base on the state, and we want to put certain logo on our video. You can do that also. So for that, uh, we'll go again to the title slide. Select the title option. Or you can also bring in your logo. It is nothing like uh, I'm going to use any logo from here only. You can use uh, any image also for as a logo. So rather I will just uh, use any image. 
So I'm using this image of a bucket as a logo, for example. I got it here, but you can see if I place it like this. It has, it is having a full bucket. I want it as a logo. So first of all, I will just place it slightly away from the actual bucket. And now, uh, when I am here on the bucket, just bring the... Here is the uh, bucket. So now you just uh, focus on the preview screen. What I'm going to do here, you can see. Let us reduce the size of the uh, the bucket to a very small logo size, and I'm going to place it here. So this is just for reference I'm uh, showing you. You can have your actual logo here. And till whatever point this image is, the logo will appear. Okay, so now you can see. So till the time the image is placed, it will be visible as a logo to you right now. And then it will go away. Right. So this way you can also uh, bring logo in your uh, video. Right. Now, uh, the most important part, this video is ready and we want to export it to Vosity. Any video which is created in in short video editor or any audio which is created in Audacity cannot be used on your phones. It is used wherever this software is available because this file is an OSP file. We need an MP4 file, so we need to convert it. But before that, always when you're working on any project file, first of all, save it as a project file. So go to the file menu, save your project with whatever name you want to save. Test one I'm saving on desktop. You can see save as dot osp file, right? So I'm saving it as a dot osp file. Now you can see here. I've uh, saved it on the desktop as test osp. It is available as a project file. Whenever you want to re-edit it, you can edit it from here. Now I'm going to uh, make it an MP4. So for that, I need to do export project. So when I click, click on export project, click on export video. Export video is the most convenient uh, way of doing it. If you further want to do it on FCP, then you can do it as the FCP option also. Now here, all formats, you want to uh, play this video which on which device you can choose or you can choose all formats. So that will be suitable. Then you can uh, target. We have got MP4 also four types. You can choose this. So I am choosing MP4 FX, which is playable on your mobile, on your laptop, or your TV screens, anywhere. This is the video profile. And then this is the quality. It has to be either high, medium, or low. So for a device like mobile phone, if you want to share it with your students on your mobile, then you can uh, do it on a low quality. If the target is a laptop, then do it for the medium quality. If you are going to project it on a bigger screen, go it for the high uh, quality. So uh, when we are exporting it, it is going to take time. If we do it in a low quality, it will happen slightly early. If we do it on high quality, it takes a lot of time. And depending on the length of the video also. So uh, right now, I'll just show you on the medium and export. You can see that it will take time. So when you are doing it, just relax and wait and give it some time to happen. Here you can see it is test one already written, test one MP4 file. So now it is uh, starting to export as a MP4 file.
And then I will request you by the time it is exporting, please ask your questions because uh, we need to take your questions also. You can just think about your questions and you can ask those questions right away. And if you want to do something new, you want to learn something new, which is possible in this time, we can do that part also. <laughs> so now you can see it as hundred percent happened. I will click on done, and now I'll see on desktop. Now you can see this was the OSP file, and this is the MP4 file. Now just see, I'm playing it right here. Hello all, my name is Divya Jagadbhat. Today, I am going to perform an interesting experiment to shoot at air of you by space. So, here I have a bucket full of water and one empty bottle. Oh, is it really empty or is it filled with? So now uh, you the could see the whole uh, video. Let's uh, what is is available with us, and we can do uh, whatever error we saw. We can refine it also, and also we can uh, just give it more time for saving. Keep saving it twice and thrice. Then those flickers will also get removed. Right now we only saved it and then exported it. We need to save it twice and thrice after each step so that it is properly imported and then we can uh, export it to make it more uh, you know better quality so this is about basics of uh, video editing one part which i want forgot to explain you is to play with the sound here so uh, for example i want to add this music i just kept it here i am going to bring it down Now you can see the difference. We have got a music also. But the music is very loud. I want to reduce the music. So click on the music file, right? Right click on the music uh, file and then work on the volume. Entire clip, I am going to reduce the volume to 30%. So now again, I'm going to play and check. With the audio, you can play very less here because this is not an audio editing tool. But basics you can definitely do. Now you can see the audio has reduced. You can further reduce to 10 also uh, to make it more better. Or if you want to play more, then you can bring the audio file to Audacity, level it down and then bring it here. So that uh, the audio quality also enhances can we merge different tracks together these are merged only i have merged two tracks of uh, videos three tracks two th tracks of videos and two tracks of audio as a complete mp4 file so these when we export these are the merged track but in the project it will be separate because we want to edit it Vidyananda ji i hope i've answered your question so this way you can also play with the music so here, uh, there is this one more tool which I did not mention, but we used during the editing. This is the magnet uh, tool, which is called a snapping tool, which means when we are going to join two things together, there should be no gap between the two. Uh, you can look here. When I was joining these two things, a line was appearing. Uh, say, for example, I'm showing you here. Yeah, this blue line is coming in between. That is uh, the task of this snap that it will 
with the help of kind of a magnet the two, two files will get attracted and will get joined without leaving any blank space in between two files so that is the use of this tool you can explore more tools also you can explore these effects in the video editing and create your own uh, edited file if you have any more questions we can take that or i want to show you one uh, part of effects also like uh, we create uh, different kind of videos and we keep changing the uh, background so what is that do you know about it and do you know, want to know about it then i'll explain you so that is basically when we shoot in front of a plain background which is a green screen or a blue screen then we uh, remove that background and add our own background for example now i am sitting here and i use certain background i am sitting in some outside space so i might uh, use a background of a room or a table then i can go use the ai video visual backgrounds and then i can apply that similarly in your video you can apply those background that is called chroma okay so for doing chroma we need and the second thing is video should be should be recorded in a green background right so i'm going to show you here first of all i'll import two three files for the chroma okay so this is my background and this is my actual thing right i can increase the duration also depending on what is uh, it so now you will see what exactly is this so it is this this is the background and this is my character so for example is a magician and this is a stage for the magician i want to bring this magician on this stage so i am going to place it here right now i will have to apply one effect which will change the background to this background what should i do earlier when i was keeping an image on the other image then the uh, lower image it was appearing on the lower image but now it is not so what should i do so first of all i will go to these effects i will look for the chroma key effect this is the chroma i'll simply drag down it to the green screen video and then play it nothing has happened what to do so on this c button you can see the c button on the video it has appeared i will simply click on the c button just a second on the c button you just bring your cursor and click on the properties sometimes it happens with the single click also sometimes it asks for the right click so now i have clicked here and you can see here something has appeared one property button has appeared here there is a key color i'm going to double click on the key color and then i'm going to pick a screen color which i want to remove i have selected this color okay and then you can see the background has removed but still some green color is appearing here what to do for that go to this threshold and 
just play with the number. Right now it is five. I'm making it two hundred and enter. Now you can see the maximum extra green has also removed. You can just further do it with this, and then you can uh, remove the complete green color. Now there is a problem that this person is looking like he is flying in the air. He is not standing on the floor. So I can just make him stand here on the floor, and also, if you wish, you can reduce the size of this person also. Right now, you can see what is happening here. So, this way you can also create the chromas in your simply this tool. You don't have to go anywhere out of this tool to create the uh, chromas. Now, uh, I will stop the screen share and I request you to ask your questions because uh, there are many features in this which you can explore now. I have explained uh, transition also, I have explained effects also, I have explained the basic editing also. Now, it is up to you to explore it so that you can, you know, do more activities with your own uh, videos. I am not switching on my video because of the connectivity issue, but you can switch on the videos and ask your questions. Yes, uh, Dikila, ma'am, please ask. Good morning, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, good morning. I was working with you. I downloaded the video accordingly. Um, while I was adding the videos, I could... Uh, you, you added the video in the track one, track two. I was also adding, but I couldn't find a like proper space you, to add the audios yeah. and all. No, no, you have to add the video in track two, three. Uh, you can add it in three, four, five, yeah. and one or one and two you can keep for audio. Okay, one and two. Okay, the, 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 the lower tracks are basically for those things which we don't want to show as a video. The top tracks will be visual. They will be visible as a video. So keep it on the top track, the video, audio will be kept in the lower tracks. Okay. So no, while I was working on it, uh, the the tracks are not visible on my screen. Now you can just, uh, okay, I'll show you. I'm just uh, showing you again. Uh, just see this. Uh, tracks are right now also very less visible on my screen. But you can simply, uh, you know, scroll them up and down or... With these dots, you can, uh, you know, bring the tracks more visible. Okay, okay. Fine. Okay, this is your own setting. For example, you want to make the preview screen bigger, you can do that. Yeah. This is in your hand only. Yeah. Okay, I got it, got it. I'm able okay. to do it. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you. Any other questions? Please come ahead with your questions. You can write in the chat box also. You can ask. That will be good. Everybody can understand the question and also answer. No more questions? You have understood everything? Or you are trying to... Uh, Trying hands on on the software. The key color at the background could be other colors too. Uh, actually, key color can be any. It can be white also, it can be any other color. But the Indian skin tone carries a lot of colors. For example, the, the eyes are uh, white. So when we are going to key it out, our eyes will also get keyed. If we use the black key color, then our hair will go away. So whichever color we are going to keep will go away from our skin also. So green and blue generally are accepted. But nowadays it is only green. Blue also sometimes we have blue eyes. So in that case, we have to be careful. 
Any other questions, please come up. Either you did not understand the session at all, you or you have understood it all. Any questions, please? Okay, no questions. You can practice on the uh, application. Please do practice and if you still have any questions, we can uh, take it later on also. My tracks on the, are on the right side on the screen. No, it does not make any different different names, sir. But if you still want to, uh, uh, you know... Uh, If you still want to change the placement, like uh, the actual appearance, then you can do this way, as I did in front of you once also, that my tracks were slightly uh, confusing. So go to the view button, go on further views and choose for simple view. It will set it down in this mode only, in the basic mode. So you can use that mode also for your uh, this thing. Can you share the apps? Which which apps? Sir, there are many video editing apps, uh, which is one of them is Kind Master. Most of the people are using. And there are others also, but this is an open source software, which is available freely and it is uh, doable on the laptop and desktop. Uh, so you can use this also and any other app, uh, which others are aware, they can tell me uh, about the apps. Any more questions? Okay, if there are no questions, then uh, I think I am done. Whichever parts I want to explain, you can keep exploring the tool and you can come up with the questions. One thing which I uh, wanted to add is since this is an open source software, so it gives you an option of tutorial also. Wherever you get stuck and you find no help, then you can simply uh, go to the help button here and contents or tutorial. You can click on tutorials. It will give you a stepwise knowledge of each feature the software has and you can learn through that and uh, start practicing it and the other thing is there are a few very good videos available as a tutorial video for this software you can refer to them also from the creators of this uh, tool so they are also available on youtube you can refer to them also uh, so that is it from my side um Thank you, everyone. If you have still have any questions, I'm available. Thank you so much, ma'am.